Zing-Zong, Zing-Zong, Zing-Zong. Where did he come from? Where is he going? Where did he come from? Where is he going? Zing Zong was first discovered during excavation operations for the new Stratoflex Manufacturing Building in Fort Worth, Texas. The power shovel operator noticed an unusual strain on his engines as the shovel lifted what looked like a normal load of rocks. He swung the load to the Euclid dirt mover. The driver felt it hit the truck bed like a bomb. Workmen at the excavation site were startled by that unusual sound. Work was stopped immediately that chilly February morning. No one understood the cause of the commotion, but 20 men had felt and heard it. The contractor ordered the contents of the dented truck dumped out for examination. He then phoned Ken W. Davis of Stratoflex. Mr. Davis, we just dug up something at the new plant site that you got to see. You got to see it for yourself. And hear it. Close examination of the rock indicated that it must be a meteorite. By listening closely and tapping a place on the rock that appeared to be cement, the faint ringing of a bell was heard. It had almost a celestial sound. When Ken Davis saw this, he immediately called in for consultation Preach Metters, president of Halliburton Oil Well Cementing Company. He also summoned geological and astronautical experts as well. Laboratory tests were made around the clock. The experts carefully analyzed that spot which appeared to be cement. And after much consideration, the team arrived at the answer with Preach Metters exclaiming, Solidified Moon Dust. But what was inside? What caused the faint ringing? The large rock-like formation was apparently composed of a mineral substance heavier than lead. It was pocked like the moon and milk white. Most alarming, however, was that faint ringing which came from inside. The team decided to break open the rock and find out. The rock broke with surprising ease. And from inside hopped a strange, unearthly creature with a tiny bell around his neck. It sounded as if he were saying, Zing Zong, which he was immediately named. He was a friendly little fellow and seemed to communicate through thought waves. The only thing that he remembered was that sometime in the past he had been kicked out of heaven with these words, back to the earth. He apparently had been entombed for years, maybe millions. He was impervious to heat and had needed no food, water, or air throughout these many eons of time. One thing that he had in common with earth people, however, soon was evident to the team examining him. Zing Zong was homesick. He wanted to go back to the moon. Get him there, Davis asked the group. I'm willing to lend my assistance, are you? So with that beginning, the slogan became Zing Zong, Back to the Moon. Since then, many leaders in industry, science, and finance have pledged their support to this worthy cause. Newspapers headlined the orbit and moonshot attempts of the armed forces. Zing Zong hooked rides on several of them, but he jumped off and fell back to Earth rather than orbit the sun or be sailed to infinity. Zing Zong is happy enough on Earth. He's comfortable as a nurse, a school teacher, and a pretty psychiatrist. But still he spends long hours at his telescope. Home for him still is 238,000 miles away. He can see it on a clear night, but so far he hasn't found the means to return. Stratoflex fittings and hose assemblies, coupled with the genius of missile manufacturers, guarantee a safe return for Zing Zong in the near future. Those of you who want to lend your assistance in getting Zing Zong back to the moon, write to Ken W. Davis, care of Stratoflex Incorporated, Fort Worth, Texas. That name again, Ken W. Davis, care of Stratoflex Incorporated, Fort Worth, Texas.